Hi everyone, welcome back to Rachel's Enchanting Cakes. This tutorial is another great one for any new beginner baker. I'm going to be showing you how to decorate a Terry's chocolate orange egg with ease and turn it into Santa, ready for your Christmas celebrations. Happy baking everyone and let's make a start. Taking a milk Terry's chocolate orange egg, I simply unwrap this and place it directly onto some baking paper. Using liquid glucose, I place a small amount of this in a little tub and using a brush, I simply brush over the Terry's chocolate orange egg. Liquid glucose is just liquid sugar. It will give something for the fondant to stick to, but if you don't have this, you can also use piping gel. I then roll out exactly 150 gram of fondant. I'm choosing to roll mine in between five millimeter spaces. It is not necessary, so do not worry if you do not have these, but try to keep it in a circular shape. Taking your time, simply pick up the fondant and place it directly on top of your covered chocolate egg. You then want to start at the top using your fingers to gently negotiate the pleats. If you have a cake smoother by Squire's Kitchen, you will find it easier to smooth this over, but don't worry if you don't. Using your fingers will do just as much of a good job. Remember, we are covering this egg with an awful lot of decoration. Simply smooth it out down the sides, cut off any excess fondant, and then as mentioned, if you have a smoother, smooth it out. Roll out a sausage shape in black fondant. Using some edible glue, place this around the base of your chocolate egg. This will be Santa's belt. Using two balls of black fondant the same size, I shape these in my hands by squeezing them at one end. These will be Santa's feet. Stick these under the base of the egg with a small amount of edible glue. Using a flesh coloured fondant, simply cut out a small circle using a circle cutter. Stick this to the top front of the egg using a small amount of edible glue. Using a sharp crafts knife, I then cut off the excess just at the top of the egg where the hat will be. Finally, in order to make room for the beard, using the small heart cutter, I simply cut away the base of that circle. Using the same heart cutter, I then simply place this directly onto the egg and using a cocktail stick, place on some indentations to give it more of a beard-like effect. I then add the nose. I simply roll this into a ball and then more of an oval shape and use a small amount of edible glue. It's not necessary, but using a small ball tool, I added two indentations for the eyes, then simply add two very small balls of black fondant. This just helps me keep them even, but you do not need a ball tool. For Santa's hair, I create a very simple shape using the circle cutter. So start by cutting a circle, then simply go halfway up, cut this away, get rid of the moonlight shape and it's the other piece that you want to use. Place both of these on top of the head with some edible glue and again, using a cocktail stick, simply place some indentations in there. For Santa's moustache, I start by rolling a sausage shape and cutting this in half. This just allows each side to be even. And I then use my hands and simply roll this into more of a cone shape. So it's thicker at one side and thinner at the other. Stick this on with some edible glue and then using the cocktail technique, simply add the indentations. Very basic shapes again for Santa's arms. So we've got two cone shapes, two white balls and two flesh coloured balls. I take the cone shape and using a ball tool, I simply place an indentation in the end. I then add one of the white balls. The indentation will just help this stick. If you do not have a ball tool, you can just use edible glue, but it may need a little longer to set. Place this directly in the centre. And then the final balls, the flesh coloured ones, simply cut an indentation into there because this is going to be your hand. And again, I use the ball tool just to help secure it to the white. Simply add this directly to the centre's sides placed on with some edible glue. 
For Santa's hat, take a ball of white fondant and place this directly on top of the egg and push down. Taking some red fondant, roll this into a cone shape and place directly on top of the white. I then add the final part of his hat using a small piece of white fondant and using some very fine scissors both on the end of the hat and around the rim you will get a very different effect as you can see here. And there we have it, our completed Terry's Chocolate Orange Santa. Happy baking guys and I will be back soon with more new completely free content.